Hello, this is Nathaniel Frank, Training and Quality Manager for Liberty Plus. Today we're going to talk about the PWM adapter, or Pulse with Modulation adapter, and how it relates to the arm function. The PWM adapter is located right next to Module 60 on the Automizer, or right next to the Danfoss valve on the Expert. It serves the purpose of converting raw output voltages given by Module 60 into a variable pulse width modulation signal that can be used by the Dan Foss valve. Other components in the system are of course Module 60 as well as our Dan Foss valve. On the valve itself there are always two proportional sections and a minimum of one non-proportional. To begin our checks we can disconnect the connector from Module 60. Once the connector is off, we can remove the back shell by depressing the two small tabs. With the back shell removed, we can reconnect the Module 60 connector. To show just how different the readings are before and after, the pulse width modulation adapter, we'll first take a measurement on the up-down wire at node 60. Here we have the pump engaged and the dead man depressed, and right now the arm in the down position. A reading of 0.339 volts was achieved. In the raised position, we'll see a reading in the neighborhood of 11.17 volts. Now we'll take that same reading after the PWM adapter at the Dan Foss valve. So here we're in the down position, we have 3.36 volts, and in the up position we settle at about 9.12 volts. So as we have just shown, the PWM adapter plays an integral role in voltage conversion. With the PWM adapter not present in the system, the Dan Foss valve will ignore all voltage signals incoming with the exception of grabber. This is because the grabber circuit is non-proportional. In example, here we are checking the in and out circuit with the PWM adapter removed. Right now the operator is attempting to go in and out with no function. Switching over to the up and down circuit, you'll see we achieve also no variance. Keep in mind that despite being multiplexed, the PWM still is providing the variable voltage signal to the Dan Foss valve. This chart shown can be used as a guide or reminder of what your voltage reading should be in the maximum position at 12, 6, 3, and 9. Thank you for watching this Libri how-to video.